Data from the National Transport Safety Board in America, compiled by Auto Insurance EZ, shows that hybrid vehicles have the highest fire risk. Fully electric vehicles, on the other hand, were deemed far safer than both hybrids and gas cars. EVs, they're far less likely to catch fire, with just 25.1 fires per 100,000 sales. That's compared to 3,474 hybrid fires and 1,529 ICE fires per 100,000 sales, respectively. EVs, I'll repeat that again, are far less likely to catch fire with just 25.1 fires per 100,000 sales. In 2019, the London Fire Brigade dealt with just 54 EV fires, compared to 1,898 petrol and diesel fires. They don't differentiate between arson or accidents, etc. EV FireSafe, an Australian firm that received seed funding from the Australian Department of Defence to research electric vehicle high-voltage battery fires and emergency response, reported there had only been 393 verified fires globally between 2010 and June 2023, out of around 30 million electric vehicles on the road. Over the same period in Australia, only four EV battery fires have occurred, and one was linked to arson. The other three vehicles were parked in structures that burnt down and took the car with them. In Australia, as of October 2023, there were 71,800 EVs sold. EV batteries have extremely strong protection, and are positioned in a way that minimizes the risk of damage in a crash. Extensive crash testing happens on all EVs, and the highest scoring cars in the world have been EVs, with the Tesla Model Y topping the list with the best safety score ever. Crash tests of electric vehicles and a hydrogen fuel cell SUV show three of the models handle a variety of collisions better than many vehicles. In fact, two electric vehicles, the Tesla Model 3 and Audi e-tron, along with the Hyundai Nexo, a hydrogen fuel cell SUV, got the best rating possible from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The IIHS also notes the risk of a battery fire after a collision is not a major concern, since the casings holding the batteries have held up well in crash tests. In short, these tests are fresh evidence some electric vehicles look to be as safe as other models. Modern EVs have advanced safety features including battery management systems and thermal runaway management to minimize risks. Strict regulatory standards also ensure compliance with safety requirements. To put it bluntly, they wouldn't be allowed for sale in Australia and most other countries if they were unsafe. The batteries that can catch fire are the ones in cheap e-bikes, e-scooters and other equipment like radio control stuff. And no, rain or water won't cause a fire or any fault. EV batteries are super sealed. Feel free to drive through deep water if you need to. The worst that will happen is some water will leak into the car through the door seals. In the recent floods in Dubai, the only cars able to get through the sudden massive rivers were EVs. Back to the Model Y. This motherfucker tried to kill himself, his wife, and two small kids by driving off a notorious suicide cliff called Devil Slide in America. It plunged 75 meters, hitting the cliff and flipping multiple times before landing on its wheels. All the occupants survived. Even firefighters used to attending there for other people jumping off that cliff were amazed that anyone lived. I bet all those firefighters are buying Model Ys now. A driver in China recently avoided a pedestrian, then somehow hit something else which launched her Model Y into the air and gave it a few spins. She also survived. Maybe she was auditioning for the fall guy. That seems safe. The point is, no battery fires, even after these insane accidents and wrecked Model Ys. Do you think there's a decent chance of going up in flames if your ice car had flown off a massive cliff or done some Olympic worthy somersaults like these two did? There's a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt being spread out there by the oil industry, traditional car manufacturers and their suppliers and the people they pay, etc. Please do your own research on anything for or against EVs. 
before believing the BS. If you don't, you're a moron. Please share this video with the morans.